Hi, I'm Jonathan Weinberg. Um, today I'm going to talk about a beautiful pen that I just got at the DC Pen Show. This is um, a pen from Sean Newton from Newton Pens. This is one of his syringe fillers and I think this is a really cool pen. Um, he um, th This is a filling system that goes back, he says, into the late 19th century and it's actually quite simple. Um, it has this blind cap which exposes the syringe and then you pull back and then you can fill the ink. Oops, some water is coming out this way and it holds quite a lot of ink. The other thing that's really cool about the pen is that it comes completely apart. You can unscrew this and e very easy to clean and I think it's also a very good looking pen. Very simple, holds a lot of ink. It's a very simple th uh, process. You um, take the blind cap off and that exposes the little syringe. You pull up on it and you just pumps the ink in and then you put the cap back over it. And it has a number six nib. Very attractive. His pens are really beautifully made. I mean, they're just so, um, first of all, a lot of pen makers don't make their pens to post. I like pens to post, and this pen posts, so that's cool. And the other thing is it's just so beautifully polished, and everything fits together so, so nicely. And then another, another thing about when you buy a pen from a, a small pen maker, uh, like Sean is he tunes the pen for you. The final thing that's great about Sean is that he runs a scholarship program that he's been doing since 2012 where people contribute pens to him and then he sells them on eBay and then he gives the proceeds to um, high school students over the years he's been doing that so he's a terrific person. He lives in uh, Arkansas and um, I, he's a friend of a friend of mine and I met him for the first time at the DC Pen Show. Uh, after I got back from the DC Pen Show, I went onto his website and found that he had a, he was running a sale. So I got two other pens for him that are really pretty. Um, this one I think is really nice because it is um, uh, made from resin by Kirsten Brooks. Kirsten Brooks is the daughter of Jonathan Brooks and a apprentices at Caroline Pen Company and it's really gorgeous and it has a stub nib on it that I'm going to use to do a drawing of a dahlia. It's quite a, actually quite a large pen um, and this is the Orville um, size pen that um, Sean made into a really handsome pen. This also posts, when it posts it's unbelievably long but because it's resin it's very light so even though it's so long it actually is perfectly good to use and it writes like a dream um draws like a dream because again it's a stub nib but it has been tuned by sean and he uh, makes it so it's very very smooth so i've really enjoyed writing with it and then this is a beautiful this is a sumter this is a somewhat smaller pen this is um um yellow you know this sort of cracked ice Pen. Again, all these pens are so beautifully polished and finely uh, worked. And then they all have number six Jovo nibs, but the nibs, as I keep saying, have been tuned. So they write really, really beautifully. This is uh, the Newton pen and with the syringe and it's broad and I am using Noodler's or Mackie Black which is a waterproof ink and probably Newton Sean would be mad at me for using. Um, I'll try not to have it in the pen too long and hopefully it won't stain it. Um, but it is a kind of waterproof ink and sometimes has a kind of bad reputation. Um, 
for staining pens. Uh, this is very smooth, nice and wet. It's a Jovo nib, so it doesn't have much flex, but because Sean has done a lovely job of tuning this nib, it is just writes like butter. post when it posts since it's this really light acrylic it doesn't overweight the pen it's extremely comfortable just beautiful writer it's just it's really a dream pen I think so nice looking as always I'm using rodeo paper now this is the Newtown Newton pen with a Kirsten Brooks. It's called Ten Whist uh, resin, and I have Waterman Tender Purple. And this is a stub, I think it's 1.1 nib. And again, because he's tuned it, even though it's a stub, it writes very, very smoothly. You can see you get variation. Thin this way, thick this way. Dog, really smooth writer. I really like writing with a stub nib like this because it makes my hair any a little nicer. And it shows off the shading. Really, really great. Beautiful pen. It's hard to see it, but there's a bit of flex, uh, you know, reflective material in this and. Beautiful depth of the blues and oranges. It's a really lovely pen.